Oh, yes, I know. If a girl wears that, it's like, uh, what, shit, how do you... Jigglypuff? What happens? That's Jigglypuff? For the for the ladies? With fat well, ass? Jigglypuff is on Yu-Gi-Oh. No, but... Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> It could be a Pokemon thing. Yeah. No, I don't want to see women wearing Jigglypuff, like, bottoms. That'd be random. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to deal with that shit, bro. What's, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh character that has, like, is known for having a big butt? That should be the thing. I literally could not name you a single. I can't. Yu-Gi-Oh. Other than that Blue Eyes White Dark Dragon Magician. or in Dark Magician, I've, I, I don't know. Yu Gi Oh was like a game that literally I don't think I ever. I, I was probably interested in it for like two years growing up. And I don't think I ever spent any time researching how to properly play. Me and my homies were just be- based off like whose card was the hardest. And all of us, we'd have fucking like binders of like nothing but Yu Gi Oh cards. Yeah, you were more of a collector. But Bro, I don't. None of that shit. I don't even know where fuck none of that shit went. Yo, know? this sounds very nerdy, I sold but my whole stack. I, I, I used to be. Much? I used to be the guy like who played. Fifty bucks. Hell yeah. You fucking. Yeah, back then, in middle school, middle school. You at, uh, at at fucking Toontown and Downey, <laughs> that one spot. <laughs> Nigga Norwalk, get it straight. Oh my uh, god. the walk. The walk, baby. Yeah. To Poland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh god. Nah, you be out the walk for show. Yeah, hell yeah. Bro, you know what's funny is I remember when I was a uh, a little kid, I had a collection of Pokemon cards, and and uh, my sisters were just on my ass telling me, Yuri, you need to grow the fuck up already and like become, you know, like you're going to high school now, like you got to grow up and like you know get rid of your childish ways, right? And that show was really sticking in my head. You're fucking with Yu-Gi-Oh till eighteen. Uh, I was fucking with Yu-Gi-Oh for for a minute, bro. I used to go to the library and multiple other places to go meet up with people to play Yu-Gi-Oh and like you know groups of people to play Yu-Gi-Oh and shit like that. And I stopped that, but I was still collecting Pokemon cards. And then at one point, my sisters were just on my ass telling me like, "Yo, this child, they should get over it, right?" And then at one point, I had this like weird like movie type moment moment where like my parents were telling me like, "We're going to Venice Beach this weekend, right?" I'm like, "For sure." I took all my Pokemon cards with me, and when we got to the beach and we like were walking down the pier, I was like. It's over. And I fucking like threw all my Pokemon oh, cards oh off the pier and, and littered and, you know, destroyed the environment. I didn't think of that it that way, way as a kid. That is too dramatic. It, I, dude, it was so, that's dude, like that's how video. dramatic it felt to me as a kid, like going, I need to stop this Pokemon card shit. And I just threw it into the fucking ocean. Nah, I don't think I ever really obsessed over anything like that. That's that's pretty crazy. That and you, now like, I regret it. Now you if set, I, you like had like a setup at the pier, a windy day, and you just fucking bro, gusted your fucking cards If out. I can go back, I would just tell little Yuri, like, bro, just put them on your bed and just don't touch them the closest story i got to that was like i was playing runescape from like maybe like fourth grade to like ninth grade and in ninth grade uh i was i was already 99 at wood cutting i was already doing my thing i had been putting my hours in like one thing about my mom i guess it's just like hispanic families or some shit but like she never wanted to put her credit card information on on the fucking internet for me she thought i was a scammer or something like that my mom's still like that Oh god, bro! I don't, they just She's got like, some superstition. Yeah. <laughs> Long story short, she—that was the only thing she ever spent her debit card on was like for me to be a member. Long story short, I was—I uh, was over that shit by ninth grade. You feel me? I was skating and everything at that point, and I just traded that shit for someone to do my homework the whole year. Bro, Damn. people sell the RuneScape accounts for thousands of dollars, especially if they're that old, from like you know two thousand nine or something. Oh yeah, no, I had people a sell that shit.